Okay, here we are. Uh, this is uh, Brent from Path and Tarot. Here we're going to do... I mean, this is like a let's play kind of thing, right? This is the... Uh, you know, I'm going to play a game and you're going to watch me do that because it's kind of a, a cool, uh, you know, thing. Uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting thing to watch. I watch people play games and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I also like to play games just as much as I like uh, watching them now because, um, you know, I'm like an old person uh, at this point and grew up with video games. Um, I'm dating myself and that's okay. But I've chosen this game here, The Cultist Simulator. Uh, is an interesting, uh, because I think it has like a, an interesting connection with uh, the tarot that I, I do here on this channel, and the tarot readings. Um, I've transitioned... Uh, the tarot readings into like a digital uh, method uh, using the Orphalese uh, tarot program here. So it made me think of um, how I feel or how I felt when I played this game for, for the first time. Um, it, was, it was really kind of a cool thing to have, you know, these cards connect in, in the way that they do um, in this game with like these timers and interesting relationships. Uh, so I, I thought I would, uh, you know, expand the horizon of this channel and play this game for you here because, uh, yeah, it just connects with the theme of, um, you know, what we do here on Path and Tarot. So, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know how much you know about this game in particular. So, you know, I'm going to walk you through, walk you through it as best I can. Uh, you know, if you want to learn, like, how to beat the game or, or that kind of stuff, uh, like, you know, strategies. Um, there's probably tons of videos about this game already on, on YouTube here. So, you know, I'm not trying to compete with that. So, you know, if you're looking for like uh, strategies, maybe go somewhere else and then come back. But if you're looking for uh, an interesting uh, commentary uh, and, um, you know, a good old fashioned run through the game, uh, then stick around. Because uh, I'll take you through it here. So we've got menial employment. I like I like this a lot because th this has such an uncanny way of connecting with like real life, um, and and I think that's kind of cool because when you deal with like the occult, esoteric things, the tarot, you feel that it's still something that's not accepted in society. And so you know to do it, you still do it in sort of secret. You don't share it too much, at least not with the wrong people um, but it always seems that um, as someone who practices this kind of art you still need uh, menial employment to you know pay for your bills um, art always has a very strange way of not being able to fully provide for the artist of uh, you know you, but to be an artist and have that provide for you like your artwork then that's like striking gold um, it's an amazing thing if you can be that. So let's start. I've always liked how you got these like timers. Uh, in a way, the, like meta, the, the meta of this game is playing with these timers and making sure they, uh, you know, work to your benefit and that sort of thing. So as you put cards into these like mystical like things, uh, new things happen in the game. Uh, if things things involve as you interact with it. That's the, that's the really cool thing about it. It's sort of the same with tarot. Um, the more you interact with it, the more things that you see in your actual reality, like um, uh, synchronicity starts to happen in your life. You can pause the game like this, which I think is kind of cool, so you can move around your cards, organize things, and you can even speed it up. That's what I've always liked. Speed things up. So I'm going to pause it. I like to pause it like that, collect cards, kind of figure out the next move so that um, you don't, let these runner, you know, timers go all crazy because there's timers that, uh, if they've uh, like run out, or you know, you lose the game. So you know, we'll hopefully we don't get to that. You know, hopefully we do well, well enough here. So um, let's see. Let's figure out what we can put in here. So I can put passion. So if you click, if you click this, then things light up uh, for what you can put into it so let's do that so start it so you can start these like timers while on pause which I think is kind of cool so where's that mean I guess we lost mean employment here for these other things so oh, it's 
saving there, but you probably can't see that because of my face. Okay. Let's just wait. I can fast forward this up a bit. Or did I already do that? Fast forward, normal. That's on fast forward already. Okay, that disappeared. No. Okay. Let's just I'll wait for this here. Cool, I got I got some stuff. So collect all these here. Oh, it's cool. We got a lot of I got a lot of money here. This is good. I got money. Uh, so now I just got to figure out, you know, where to put these cards. Uh, I can put dread in here. Can I put dread? No, apparently not. The invisible arts could occupy ten lifetimes of study. That's true. That's what I feel about the tarot. Oh, I guess that can't go in there. What else can we you know, put a, a request? Ooh, I haven't seen that before. Uh, I can put, can I put reason? Maybe I'll just do, no, I guess I'll have to, I'll do health. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw health, throw health into there. I've, I haven't played this in a long time. Uh, well, actually, no, maybe just a few months. I don't really remember what's going to happen. What can I, I can dream about dread. Ooh, let's do that. No, uh, I guess I need something to, you need to combine things, I guess. Uh, reason. How about money? I'll put money in, into that and I'll dream of money because money is good. Reason. So I guess I'll, I'll have reason do my work. Uh, and let that happen. So I'm going to unpause it here. So I guess reason is... Oh no, something's taking my money, time passes. So yeah, you know, uh, that's that's kind of cool how, you know, as I was saying at the beginning, like, you know, an artistic life demands that you pay for it. <laughs> eh, eh, so yeah, these are things that uh, take, that absorb the thing that it has right there, uh, which is money. Uh, so let's collect these things. Um, so what do we got here? A junior position at Glover and Glover. Cool. So I'll, I'll take, I'll take that, and put it into the thing, and I'll put, I'll put reason on on that because I guess it empowers it. Uh, okay. So just I'll pause it and let things go here. So how I play it uh, is, you know, I'll pause and unpause as I, you know, deal with the cards that I get. Uh, you know, because I'm not, I'm not like an expert on this game. Uh, I still have to kind of figure out it's a dream dream like, can I dream of dread now no Ooh, maybe I can do that contentment oh neat. okay too much dread will destroy you contentment can cure it so that's kind of neat it's like a uh, an interesting alchemical thing this is neat because you know when you deal with the tarot um, you, you, inevitably, you inevitably deal with like a personal alchemy, like dealing with your elements and how they interact, how they can combine in interesting ways. And that's what the Path and Tarot deck is really about, sort of at its core anyways, because uh, it connects to the elemental cards that I've made. Hey, did you see that? It's blinking. It's blinking at me. So can I put passion in there? Yeah, I'll do that. Um, okay, I will unpause it and I'll see what happens here. Oh, that's going to take more money. I better get more money with more work. I'll do that. What's this one here? Reason. Dimmed reason. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to unpause it. Collect that. Pause it again. What's this? Fleeting reminiscence. That's interesting. I'll dream of I'll dream of health again. I'll do that. Maybe I should have dreamt of money though, so I could get more money. Okay. Well, oops. That went away. Oh no! What's this? Sickness. I become unwell. So then I need vitality. Well, I mean, it's going to be a quick game. Um, yeah, that sucks. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> eh. All right, well, let's... Um, hmm. Uh, well, let's... Uh, no, I can't put money in there. Can I put this in there? No, I can't because I need those other things. Glimmering. 
I can't do that. Passion? No, okay, I'll do that. Uh, so then can, oh, I could put reason like that. I think it just empowers it. There we go. Collection, what's this? Restlessness. Mm -hmm. Do I get more money? A position at Glover and Glover. So I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back to work. Something I can do, something I know, or something I am. Fascination. Ooh. Hmm. Well, why don't I do, I'll dream of money again. I'm getting kind of worried about this, like, heart attack. Oh, did it. Oh, I got an affliction. So what's this? An adversary. Cities rife with journalists and detectives and other meddlers. How long will they leave me in peace? Okay. What can I put in here? Passion. It keeps blinking at me. As I study that. No, but I guess I can't do certain things because it needs combinations of other things. A fascination. Yeah, I can't do that. What is it? Can I do the glimmering again? More glimmering? Oh, I can do double glimmering. Double glimmering. My emotions run higher than usual. There are things I'll never understand, and those things will always be precious, but just now I'm closer to them. Glimmering can be used. Oh, I ran out. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, okay, so here we go. Let's let this. Okay, we got, we got uh, contentment. Um, I'll do an affliction. Can I do medicines? Vitality? Yeah, okay, so I guess um, I can heal that affliction. So, dread. Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? Can more contentment? What's going on? What do we got? Collect. Let me pause this here. The invisible arts. Study, study. Can I study contentment with, with? What about dread? No. What about this thing? What do I got down here? Skill, a vivid imagination. I've got that. Oh, but I can't. I can't do that. Restlessness. No. Can't do that either. That's the tough part about this game. If you don't know what combines with what, you just gotta kinda sit here and like put things into it. Okay, so collect the cards. And I guess I'll go back. Oh, I'll do this. Passion. And oh, okay, I almost got. I, but I guess I'll go back to work because that's the only thing I can do. Um, so I got some vitality. I got health. That's good. I may need that. Uh, but I'll dream of... I can't dream of that. Passion. Um, I guess I can't put a modifier thing on that. Uh, what's this? The course of the heart. Well, uh, I may gain... Okay, I gained vitality, that's good. Uh, oh, what's, okay, so. Um, what can I do? Can I put, I can put passion on that. Modified a bit. So this game is kind of neat because you can, you can get lost in like these combinations of like things if you're, uh, if you like, uh, I mean, if, I guess if you're my age and you've played like all the role-playing games, you know, the, the, the JRPGs as they call them, and uh, you know, you like menu systems. I like menu systems. So this is a cool thing for me. But in a funny way, when I'm doing the tarot, this is kind of how like I envision it, like, like video games kind of, yeah, anyways. 
<laughs> more cards. I, th I think I'm doing okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I haven't beaten this game, so like I really don't know if I'm doing well. I still can't put that there. I gotta figure out how to dread study. I'll study dread with contentment again because that seemed to do something. At this point, I'm just happy that um, you know I can like put things into these slots and have new things happen. But I guess I'll go back to work because uh, that seems to be the only thing I can do. Uh, here we go. So, okay, so that disappears. Fleeting reminiscence. A fleeting reminiscence. And then things time out, I guess, and they turn into passion. Okay, I got more. I got more cards here. Erudition. Er erudition. Can I? Can I? No, I can't dream that. Um, reason. Dream of reason, reasoning things. Okay, so I gotta figure out what to study here. What should I study? What should I study? I mean, you could like tell me what to study in the comments below and uh, I'll, st I'll, st I'll try to study that next time and try to do like some sort of kamikaze like playthrough. I wanna play through this game a lot more with you here um, on on the uh, streaming, streamingness. Uh, the the internets, uh, so yeah. There's these like special things I can't study them. I guess uh, can I study erudition? Erudition. Uh, I need more erudition. But I've got this request. Of approach. Oh, I'll put passion as an approach. So I have to figure out how to have a passionate request of somebody. That, that's cool because like that's kind of like how things work in real life. You know, people want to help um, those that are passionate about things. I find that um, the easier the world is, um, it's because that you're allowing people to not have to think too hard about things. Like... Um, if you get hired for a job, it's, it's in your best interest to make that person feel that it's like it's a slam dunk for them. You know, like they don't have to think. The more that you have to make someone think about something, the more that can work against you. If that all makes sense. So I got all these a temptation power. You can't put that there. But I can put, uh, what's this? Um, notes on possible collaborator. That's kind of cool. That, this is neat because like this game resembles like real life scenarios of being like a content creator and influencer because we're all working magic. Um, to be able to harness somebody's attention is almost what true magic is sort of about in a way. Because um, you're almost controlling someone's attention if you can influence them um, through the act of gaining their attention. It's such a powerful thing. What can I put into here? I need, I need more glimmering, I guess. Um, what's this? Did I, did I, oh, maybe I can put that there now. Okay, I don't, I don't remember if I could or not. Uh, pause, pause. I got some vitality. So this is good. I got coins, I got health. Uh, things are going good here um, on the occultist simp meditate. Cool. So I'll do that. Um, but I can do a modifier here, so I can modify it with with a, a Smith's secret. Smith. Stay hydrated. Okay. Pause. Gonna. Collect all this stuff here. What's that? Explore. Explore. Um, with Moreland's. Yeah, I'll go buy. I'll go buy something because I think that's. I can speak of esoteric matters. See, that's neat because like, you can make a video, uh, and post it online about just that thing.
people do it all the time. They just start talking about whatever they want in um, this type of space. I feel like I have a goldfish memory because like I can't remember what I've tried to put into what. I'll, I'll do reason put reason in there. I don't know. It's taking my money. I need more money um, Yeah um, Dream 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 I'll dream of whatever I'll dream of power. Oh, but I can't for some reason um, Can I dream of vital no I can't passion Yeah, I'll dream of passion with this, the Smith secret. What did I get? I got a book, The War of the Roads. That's interesting. Um, explore, I'll use my health to explore. Did I get money? I'll go back to work, go back. Okay. So now I can, can I do a modifier payment. Oh, I can like go hire somebody. That's cool because you can do that right now. You could go if you wanted to go hire a virtual assistant like right now uh, for any reason. You could. You, you could like go do that. That's why this game is 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 very fascinating. Fascinating to the parallel parallels it has with the world right now in 2022. I think this came out a little while ago, but it wouldn't have been so popular to talk about, um, you know, freelancing and like being your own business and uh, hiring people. But now it's like a thing. You could hire a virtual assistant to like write your social media posts if you want. But at the same time, I'm speaking from the point of view of a content creator, someone who makes videos and content. Um, you may not be that person. So I don't know if I can study anything because it looks like if I study, I could study this. No, I can't. Hmm. Maybe I just, I won't study anything. Maybe I do need to take a break, like the thing said. Uh, what's going on? What's, uh, oh, it took that. Can I put, yeah. Okay, what did I get? What do we got? Did I get more money? No. Let's get more people. Um, talk, maybe I'll talk to one of these people. This guy. Who's this? Saliba. An acquaintance. Looks like an old person. Dream. Hmm. Well, this is getting mighty complex, isn't it? Why don't we take a break and uh, we'll come back a little bit later. <laughs> 